right, so we're going to graph um, quadratic functions in standard form, and these are notes and examples to put into your notebook on the next available page. All right, so standard form of the of the uh, quadratic function is f of x equals a x squared plus b x plus c. All right, so uh, when a is positive, the parabola opens up. And we'll draw a small example of what that is. Opens upward like so. And um, this is your vertex down here, which will be your minimum. All right. If A is negative, um, it'll open downward. So another example. So, and then if your vertex does that, something called a maximum. All right. Um, we have um, a couple of forms here. Uh, vertex AOS means um, axis of symmetry. intercept okay so the vertex is um, X an order pair basically X and f of X uh, remember that um, f of X is y so it's really X comma y uh, from what we know from previous all right so um, that's what your vertex is also your vertex is um, your H comma K from the previous lesson. All right, so axis symmetry has a formula you need to follow for a standard form, which is x equals um, negative b over 2a. And when we say negative b, we're going to think opposite. So opposite of B divided by 2A. All right, so uh, Y-intercept is 0C, so we're pretty familiar with Y-intercepts from um, line equations. So it's just where the function hits the Y-axis. So 0 for the X value, and then wherever it hits on the Y-axis is your C number, which is also at the tail end of your standard form. So if you have your standard form here, um, ax squared plus bx plus c, this c number is what goes there. So that's where the function hits the y-axis. All right, so we can have uh, several solution types um, from the uh, quadratic equation. Um, when we have two solutions, you can see there's two intercepts with the x value. Um, those are what you call your solutions. So where do the solutions come from? They come from your x-intercepts. All right. Oh, if I can write a zero. All right, so from x-intercepts where your y equals zero, and if you write the or paired, it's whatever your x number is, comma, zero. Okay, so no up and down um, coordinate, just left and right, your horizontal coordinate, which is your x values. All right, so um, <clears throat> uh, when they say two solutions, there's several other names, too. They're sometimes called roots and zeros. So those are also called solutions, those three things. So when you hear the word solutions, roots, or zeros, that's what they're talking about, where, where the uh, quadratic hits the x-axis. 
All right, um, no solutions. Obviously, there is no x-intercept with this solution. Um, that later is what we're going to study later on, uh, where there's uh, no real solutions, but there are imaginary solutions. Um, one solution or a double root where the vertex of the parabola, whether it's opening up or down, is on the x-axis. So both of the solutions are at that one point of the parabola. All right, so let us do a example. So we're going to take the quadratic equation f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus uh, 3. So just to label real quick, um, a is going to be 1, our b value is 2, and our c value is negative 3. All right, just so we're clear with that. <clears throat> All right, so um, first thing they asked us to do is um, find the vertex. All right, and to do that, we're going to use the axis of symmetry. All right, so we're going to use the axis of symmetry, um, which I'll do the scratch work right over here, um, which is, excuse me, A equals opposite B over 2A. Alright, so plug in the numbers. Alright, so opposite B, B is a 2, positive 2, so we'll make it a negative 2. And then we have 2 times our A value, which is 1. Alright, so work it out, it's negative 2 over 2, and that gives us negative 1. Alright, so that axis of symmetry um, is a line um, where X equals negative 1. So remember, when X equals a number, that's a vertical line. And that's going to be right through the middle of our parabola. So what that gives us, though, is the x-coordinate, negative 1. So we have our negative 1. Now we need a y-coordinate, but to find that, we must plug in negative 1 into x, or substitute it. So we take f of negative 1, because that's what we're going to substitute in, and we use this formula up top. So negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 3. Of course, the calculation can be done um, with a simple calculator. When you do work it all out, you see negative 1 squared is positive 1. Um, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then minus 3. Then you work it out. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. All right, so then our y value is, or f of x value is, negative 4. So that is our vertex, and we can go ahead and plot that now if we'd like. So over left 1, down 1, 2, 3, and 4. There it is. <clears throat> All right, so um, maximum or a minimum point. Well, it is a minimum. I'm going to abbreviate min. The equation of the line of symmetry, okay, so it's a vertical line, so x equals negative 1. It must be x equals or you don't have a line. Okay, so I'll just put negative 1. It would be wrong. x equals negative 1. All right, y-intercept. <clears throat> um, it's really easy to tell. You can tell from your equation right here The negative 3. C equals negative 3. So if you remember, your y-intercept is 0, C, which implies that it is 0, negative 3 from our equation. So that's really easy to spot in a standard form. All right, so x-intercepts, roots, our solutions, our zeros. Um, it's a little harder to find at this point. So what we got to do is make a table. We have one here to the left. So we got to choose some values, and the starting value is going to be a negative, uh, our vertex, our negative 1, negative 4. All right. And then we're going to choose some values, um, negative 1 to the left of negative 1, x values, and there's some x values to the right of negative 1, if you're thinking of a number line. So um, I'm going to choose um, 0, 1, going positive. Then some more negatives, negative 2, negative 3, just to start. You may have to add points and subtract some as you go. All right, so that's some there. You know, you don't have to do all of them. But um, for time's sake, I computed them all. Um, uh, let's see here. F of 0 
equals, all right, and then you just plug in your x value into the equation above. So we have 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 3. And that ends up being negative 3. That's your y value. All right, so next one is 2 positive 1, f of positive 1 equals 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 3. And you compute it again, and you get 0. Now, where this is a 0, that is our x-intercept, one of them. So we can stop there and uh, go to the other side and then find the other one. So since I noticed that my x-intercept was two units away uh, from negative one, I can go two units the other direction and find my other x-intercept, which would be at negative two, all right? Because uh, parabolas, quadratic equations are symmetric. So we can um, do that. Um, so if I calculate, excuse me, I said negative two, I meant negative three. So, um, from the vertex all the way to, I don't know what I'm drawing arrows to here. There we go. Okay, so there's that one root, and we can expect the other root two units away from negative one, the other direction, which will be negative three, and we should accept a zero. So just to do some calculation, I put negative two in, we get a negative two squared uh, plus two times negative two minus 3 equals negative 3. Alright, and then our next solution should give us our desired result, which is a, a 0, meaning it's going to be a root. Um, so f of negative 3 is a negative 3 squared um, plus 2 times negative 3 uh, minus 3, and that's going to equal 0. Alright, so there's my other zero. Alright, and just to work out, other one's five, and then if I put two into x, that ends up being five over here as well. Alright, so look at the symmetry of the y axis. So if you look at our vertex, put a v there for a vertex, um, if you look at the y values, it goes negative three, zero, five, and if you look at the other direction, it's negative three, zero, five again. So it's symmetrical. You get the same numbers going left in the x values and to the negative in the next x values and you get the same y numbers either way. That's how you know there's a vertex there uh, from the table. So we'll go ahead and plot those. We only need two, so I like to plot the roots. Um, so we got one root at one, zero, which is right there, and then the other root is negative three, zero, one, two, three, zero, right there. So that's gonna take care of the, uh, the, the width of the parabola, and it also gives us a direction, which is opening up. That's consistent with our equation. All right, so what are our roots? Write them as ordered pairs. One root is one comma zero comma, and then the other one is uh, negative three comma zero. All right, so um, the next part, writing it in vertex form. Uh, before we go to vertex form, let's go ahead and graph our axis of symmetry. Um, and sometimes, uh, they ask for that or they ask for it. So your axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1. That's going to go right through the middle of your parabola. All right, and that's what that is there. That's your axis of, or your line of symmetry, axis of symmetry.